In this video, we will look at a few examples that will allow us to practice using the triangle sum theorem. Now remember, the triangle sum theorem says that the three angles in any triangle adds to 180 degrees. So it says the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. Now, we can use this to solve example A, which says, what is the measure of angle T? So to find this missing angle, we have to realize that the three angles in the triangle have to add up to 180. So in other words, 27 plus 82 plus the measure of angle T has to equal 180 degrees. Now that we have this little equation, we can solve it by minusing 27 and minusing 82 from both sides. Once we do that, we end up with the measure of angle T has to equal 71 degrees because 27 plus 82 plus 71 equals 180. All right, let's go on to example B. Example B says, show why theorem number one is true. And theorem number one says each angle in an equiangular triangle measures 60 degrees. Well, first let's think about what does equiangular triangle mean. Equi means the same, so equiangular means all angles are congruent. And we can see this in the triangle pictured here. All three angles are marked as being congruent with little dashes. So if the sum of the three angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, that means each angle, if all the angles are the same, we can just do 180 divided by 3 to figure out what each angle is. And 180 divided by 3 equals 60 degrees, which means that each angle must equal 60 degrees if they are to be the same and add up to 180. So that's why theorem number 1 is true. All right, the last example says... Use the picture below to show why theorem number two is true. And theorem number two says, the acute angles in a right triangle are always complementary. So what that theorem means is that the two non-right angles in a right triangle always will be complementary, or in other words, add to 90 degrees. So we wanna figure out why that is true. So if we look at this picture, we notice one angle is 41, and we also have a 90 degree angle because that's the right angle. So in order to find the missing angle in the triangle up here, angle D, we can do 180 degrees minus 90 minus 41, and that will give us the measure of angle D. When we do that, we end up with 49 degrees. So 49 equals the measure of angle D. Now, what we should realize or notice is that if this angle D is 49 and angle O is 41, 41 plus 49 equals 90 degrees. Therefore, these two angles, O and D, are complementary angles because they add up to 90 degrees. Now, is this just a coincidence, you might wonder? What about if it was a different problem? Well, it isn't a coincidence because when you think about this equation right here, we had to do 180 minus 90 because there will always be a right angle 90. After you do that, you end up with 90 minus 41 equals the measure of angle D, which means that the measure of angle D plus the measure of angle O, which was 41, will always equal 90 degrees. So those two angles will always be complementary.